wants all of you guys to pull over. <laughs> well, what's really funny is that van had no headlights on whatsoever, but we get pulled over. We pulled all three of us over. He's either a huge Lamborghini fan or a DD fan. She was pacing Garrett for 10 minutes, they came up on me, hung out for a bit, and they passed me, pulled over Damon, they wanted us all pulled over. Just imagine it'd be some big lecture. Stay in the car, please. What's that? Please stay in the car for me. What are we doing? You are being stopped for your speed. I wasn't speeding. Yes, you are. Please no. have a seat in the car for me. All right. Can I take one quick photo? Sit in the car for me, please, sir. How are you doing, gentlemen? All right, so you're being legally stopped for your speed of 98. Can you do me a favor? I don't mind if you record. Just kind of not in my face so I can see the driver, okay? We got you. Can you see right. me okay? Yeah, it's kind of hard. All right. All right, so the speed limit in the gorge. Do you know where the portion of the gorge is? Uh, I just know what the GPS tells me. I'm not sure of the specific geography region. Okay. But I know so, I was doing the speed limit. Okay. No, you weren't. What's How the speed limit? I measure my speed. Okay, what's the speed limit? I don't recall this time, but I know the time <laughs> I was doing it. Oh, I can tell you exactly what the speed limit was, and I can tell you almost every single spot where the speed, speed limit but signs how do you were. you measure my speed? My radar you and pace. Radar, radar and pace. Radar or pace. Which one was radar it? Radar and pace. I can use them both. But I saw you coming, and I saw you come rip up beside me. Uh -huh. Ignore the Dodge Sprinter with no headlights on, by the way, which is way more dangerous than any car allegedly speeding. Okay, you you, that path for whatever opinion. reason. Which right. We actually called out saying that's a really dangerous thing happening. I understand. Right now. But where I and, caught and you speeding at was at milepost 15 and a half, and that's not where we saw that van at. Okay. Did you radio that van in as a dangerous hazard huh? for the road? Did you radio that van in? No, I did not. Hazard? Because I'm in the middle of trying to make a traffic stop on three different vehicles that are doing 98 miles so an how hour. How would you pace three different vehicles at the exact same time to get a specific speed for each um, one? Let's see here. You guys are consistent in your speed distance wise. All right. That car behind in front of me. Even near us the entire time. Listen drive. to me. He was far behind. Do you know what milepost you're at right now? I do not know what milepost. Okay, so at. right now your milepost 27 and a half. Where I got you doing 98 and a 55 is at milepost 15 and a half. Okay? That's why. All right, and when you guys are all in the same line, all right, and I'm behind you, following you, radar, and pacing you, all right, I can get all three of you. So all you right. use radar to get my speed? Or radar and pace. I okay. can do them both. All right, so driver's license, registration, proof yeah, insurance. I have all my phones, it's a new card on my phone. Not a problem. Give me a few minutes. All right. Lone Ranger, huh? How's it going, man? Good. Trooper Dan's with the Highway Patrol. Cool. So, back at milepost 15 and a half, I paced and radared all three of your vehicles, the end in a line, all right, at 98 in a 55 mile an hour zone. Not even possible. Yes, it is. Well, I know all the laws. I have a radar detector. Okay. Never went off. Doesn't matter. What type of radar do you use? Do you know how radar detectors work? Yep. Okay. Do you know that if the radar um, is not actually in its mode, all right, and if it could switch on and off, then it's not going to pick it up? It does pick it up. Okay. Okay. Well, just because your radar didn't pick up my radar, it doesn't mean I didn't have a radar. Show it to me. I don't have to show it to you. Because you didn't have it. Okay. Every cop I know has no problem showing the radar guy. Well, here's the thing. My radar is situated in my car where for you to see it, you'd have to actually be sitting in my car. And for your safety and for mine, you're not going to sit in my car. Sure. Okay. So you see a license, registration, proof, insurance. What type of radar do you use in your, gar in your car? The kind that uh, gets speed on vehicles. So when you were pacing me and all of our guys for like the last five minutes, we were all doing 65, right? Yeah, when I pulled up behind you guys and actually came up next to you guys, you guys slowed down. You guys weren't even doing the speed limit. Speed limit 75 here. Yeah, we were just cruising. Yeah, but that's not what you were doing inside the gorge at mile post 15 and a half. Well, is, 60, is 65 breaking the law? 65 in a 75 is not where I caught you speeding at. No, but Just because I stopped you here, I stopped you here because it's a straight side part of the road, all right? It's a safer part, and I now have backup where I didn't have it at mile plus 15 and a half. Yeah, at mile 15 and a half was where we left. We left from a gas station. We've yeah, been doing no, that's mile plus nine, sir. We've been doing 65, 70 the whole time here. No, you have not. And the gas station was at mile plus nine. Do you have your driver's license? What's the gas station? Mile plus nine, sir. And where'd you get us? 
mile post 15 and a half. I've been following you since mile post 11. We, we've been doing the same speed the whole time. No, you haven't. Do you, do you guys- Do you have your driver's license, please? Yeah, I got it. Do you guys as highway Listen, patrol- Listen, I'm not being a jerk to you. I'm just doing my job. So no, just well, do me a not. favor. Yes, well, I am. Not because I wasn't speeding. Okay, yes, you were. I need to see a driver's license, please. Here you go. Do you guys carry a uh, dash cam footage? Like nope. with all the speed and everything? Nope. So you have no evidence other than you're just I telling me. I do, my radar, and I'll take a photo of it and take it to court. Okay. Okay. You'll have a photo of your radar yep. with my car in front of you? I could take it right now, yeah. No, you. when you're driving- No, you, I'm not gonna take a photo. That's dangerous when I'm driving. All right, I'll be right with you. Lying. There's no way. Like legitimately, since we left the gas station, we were driving stuck behind all those rigs. And when we were driving right here for the last five minutes, you just heard them. We've been doing like 65. I didn't even know it was 75. I was following the rigs at the same speed because it was all windy through the gorge. This dude's hilarious. Crazy. And now he's got, what do you say, backup? I don't even see backup. Oh yeah. There's another car there to the left. It's hard to see because of the bright lights. So he was claiming that if you turn a radar on and turn it off, it doesn't set off a radar detector, but can accurately get the speed of a car. How's that possible? It has to send a radar signal out. That radar signal has to hit the vehicle and then come back to the gun. You're telling me that that signal doesn't go out long enough to set off the radio detector? Come on, not a chance. Then he didn't want to even admit that I was doing 65. Took him a minute to think about it because he had to think about what he was actually doing to justify pulling us over here. So, pretty hairy story. Now, I'm not saying that back there, someone else wasn't speeding and he got somebody. But I mean, I think honestly, in this situation, we got targeted because, well one, my car's really loud, Garrett's car is really loud, and he might not feel like he's in a position to give us like some stupid noise ticket, so it's just speeding. I think it'll possibly be doing 98 through that gorge area with all the rigs. Like, we, they're in both lanes. They're in left lane and right lane. We couldn't go anywhere. Y'all got the registration for this car? Yep, it's on my phone. You wanna see it? Yeah, if you wanna grab it. It's in your phone? Yeah, it's a brand new car, so it takes like four to five weeks to get it sent in the mail. But I have this registration for it. It's Alberta, Canada. Yeah, it's kind of unusual to have it on your phone, but... Really? Yeah, not not for insurance, but... Oh yeah, I know they mail it to you. Who's flying the drone? <laughs> we have no idea, we're trying to figure that out. You sure? You don't know who? Yeah, we don't oh, have I swear a, I don't know. Did anything. you have anybody else traveling with you? Nope. No. Let me tell you, last time we had a drone, I actually flew it into a wire. So that's definitely not our <laughs> drone. <laughs> That'd be talented to get up that you guys noticing though. Someone's flying a drone right now filming us. And it's not the cops. Oh, you flew right the there. Drone. The what? Drone? What drone? There's a drone right here. Oh, let's check it out. Can yeah. you shoot it down? <laughs> Dude, there's a hey, drone David. right there. You guys don't have somebody flying it? What's, what's that? Nobody with you is flying one? No. You gotta shoot it down. Get rid of it. <laughs> Step out. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Where the hell would they be? Like it's. I wonder if it's a truck or something. Oh, he's gone, he's running. He heard us talking about him. You can't make this up. There's a drone in the air right here, filming all of this. Oh, he's coming back this way. You see it? There's the drone, the red lights. And this is us, you can see him up there. Yeah. Oh, look! Look at those ears! <laughs> oh, there he goes. So, anything 20 miles over any posted speed limit, once you've reached over a 45 mile hour speed limit, is criminal in this state. Okay? Okay. Now, back at mile post 15 and a half, all right, it's 55 miles an hour. All right, radar pacing 98 miles an hour. Okay. I'm not gonna write you a criminal ticket. Didn't write him one, not gonna write him one, okay? And the reason is, because like I told him, 
I followed you guys this whole entire way because this is the safest area. Now, there was nothing that I saw besides your speed mm -hmm. that indicate any more of a reckless intent. Do you see what I'm saying? Yep. You guys weren't cutting in out of traffic. You weren't, you know, slamming on the brakes, trying to piss people off, trying to hurt somebody. Okay, so because of that, I'm just writing for your speed, civil, all right, for your speed of 98 and 55. There's a lot of confusion, okay. just a quick question. Go for it. About pacing, what is the actual legal way to pace a car that would hold up in like court? Okay, so my car's speedometer yeah. gets checked by the radars, all right, out of our agencies. Yep. So that way they're calibrated to the speeds of the specific tires that are on the car. Got it. Right? So all I have to do is pace you for like a mile, all right, you but guys, when you say pace, like basically, and like you get behind me yes. and hold the speed. Yes. And as long as the distance and between you, you start, and me is the same, then it's going to be. Yeah. What and if pace you start pulling away from me, that's where we get the speed at. But would you need for court, like if you were in a, with a judge, they say how fast you need a specific number. I was curious on pacing, like how would you say without uh, any shadow of doubt, this is the actual number they were speeding? Would you have to kind of come up with a general idea, or could you say it was like because radar is like. 100, 98, yeah. that's specific. Yeah. But in a court, for the judge to be like, okay, well, what was their specific speed? Yeah, I would say that I it was pacing and radar, all right. So, and at the pacing part, I would say around 98, I'd put you at 98 miles an hour, and I would tell it. Was it around 98 huh? or 98? He's no, he said around. Pacing, I, I'm saying in court, I would say the pacing is going to be around the 98. My speedometer is at 98. You guys are ahead of me, all right? So once I get to that pacing area where then you start to pull away from me, that's where I catch the speed on my speedometer. So when you were behind me, so I saw you coming up and I was in the lane two here, yeah. and you got my back bumper, were you pacing me then? No. No. So what was that all for? All this area right here, yeah. this was to get you guys stopped. Oh, to hold the course together. That's all it was. Okay, I understand. Yeah, yeah no. That's all that yeah, was. I saw it and I was looking down I was like, yeah. oh, I'm on speed. Well, I, like I said, I, was, I wasn't I was expecting to stop you guys there. I was expecting to stop you guys up there because I knew he was coming. Oh. All right? And that's all it was. And he's from, he's from Utah. Yeah. Because he said we were two miles from the border. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You asked me how to sign. Nope. You have been served. Oh, I've been served. Okay. Yep. All right, Damon. There's your license, your registration. Thanks, sir. So, like I was telling him, all right, 98 and the 55 is criminal in this state. So once you reach over 20 miles over any posted speed limit, oh, I'm sorry, are you okay with me leaning in just like yeah, that? No, go for okay. it. Yeah. So once you reach 20 miles over any posted speed limit, yeah. in this state, it's actually criminal speed, okay? Um, now, based off of that, tonight I'm gonna write you a civil citation for your speed of 98 and the 55 at mile post 15.5, okay? Not right here, mile post 15.5, all right? If I felt and I didn't feel this way, I didn't see any of this. I didn't see any reckless driving. All right, speed's speed. All right, when you're cutting people off, when you're slamming on your brakes, when you're when you're causing a hindrance or anybody that can possibly be endangered, either yourself or another passenger vehicle, that's when we start looking at criminal and reckless and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. I didn't see none of that. All right, guys, just traveling through the area, going too fast. That's how I look at it. Okay, and that's it. So, no criminal violation. I'm gonna write you a civil citation for your speed of 98 to 55. You do not have to appear in court unless you absolutely want to. You can totally take care of the phone if you want to, or you can go to court, it's totally fine. It doesn't matter to me, all right? I'm gonna let you do what I feel is proper and necessary, okay? So you, got, you know I got a question for you. Go for it. <laughs> so when there's three cars traveling in a row, okay, and you suggest you flick your radar on and off and you get a reading, uh -huh. you're getting the reading of the car at the back. Yes or no? I could be. I could be getting the car in the middle or the front. Okay. Okay. So you're getting one car. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Regar regardless of what car I'm actually getting, okay? I still have to visually estimate your speed, okay? And I still have to visually be able to look at these cars and go, okay, they're all traveling in the same line. They're all going up the same hill, all right? They're all traveling around the same distance, all right? Yeah, right? but nobody, I see nobody that, else with us got pulled over. What's that? We weren't the only three cars on the road. Well, I know, but you guys were passing all the other cars on the road. But not not equally, because we weren't even together. There, there were cars were, between us. But there was a point at milepost 15 and a half where you guys were together. Like, when you say together, at, I, what, at what distance would you say we were traveling? I say you're at least a, a car length or two car lengths away from each other. Oh, we are way more than that. Because at different times, yes, you are. You are right. Did I don't think you were visually, honestly estimating me doing okay. 98, because I know okay. I wasn't. Okay, but you at were. No, at no point. Okay. All right. You, you can say that all day long, but what I observed and what I witnessed. Okay, right, so yes. leave me with this. Okay. 
What car did you radar? Huh? What you said you could get the middle, the the end car, whatever. What car did you radar? Yeah, it's going to pick up the faster car. So when you're going by commercial vehicle trucks, all right, it will rotate back and forth between it, and then it will give me a fast, a regular speed and a faster speed. All right. So how long would you have to keep the radar on to get that though? I just got to get the speed. No, I get that, but how long do you have to turn the radar on for it to go back and forth and get the speed? I can hit the button and it gets you and I can turn it off. Okay. So, so what happens, there's a there's So a which car did you get? Because you didn't get all three of us. Okay. You didn't turn it on three and, times, you turned it and, on I once. I understand that. And like I said, using the radar and using pace and seeing all three vehicles traveling at the same speed, yes, I did. But, but that, that's not possible. One, it's dark out, you're seeing tail lights. You don't really honestly have an accurate estimation of how fast the car in the front's going. I could be shifting down, not touching brake lights and completely slowing this car down okay. at a rapid rate. And the car at the back could be accelerating to try to catch up. Okay. So, you know, I'm just saying like, you admit you turned the radar on once, you got one of the cars and you're really grouping us all together. And I get that, we're all in Lamborghinis and we are all traveling together. Okay. But I know for 100% fact, I was never doing 98. Here, you were doing 65 and a 75. Right, Prior to that, you were not doing the speed limit. What mile mark are we at right now? Right now you're at 27 and a half. And where did you get us? At 15.5. Why wait so long? Because this area is a straight stretch and I knew he was coming up to help me out. So safety reasons. So mile marker, if I went back to 15.2. 0.5. That, 0.5, that's a dangerous area to pull over? Oh yeah, but look at it. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, like it's is almost, it on the hill in the corners? It's in, in a corner section. It's so, got guardrails and it's got uh, concrete barriers in the center. So you're telling me going down that hill at night, doing those corners, the distance between corner to corner and three different cars and you at the back, you caught myself doing 98 miles an hour through a corner when there's you'd be the fourth car in the back mm -hmm. and there's concrete barriers and rigs mm -hmm. and semis yeah and you can't tell me this car won't stick to the ground and do that speed no so, it would but, but if, if i would have stopped you in that area there would have been no place for you to stop and you would have damaged your car and i'm not about to damage your cars by stopping you there no, i understand that okay? and i appreciate that so what i'm suggesting though is there's no way you pace me accurately with your eyes visually because okay. there was no straight dress long enough to do it four cars behind me okay when there's multiple corners and i'm going through corners at the same rate or barely over okay. from the vehicles that are actually slowing us down because there was rigs in the left lane i know there was no well, actually in the right lane there no. was some in the left and, and as soon left. as they moved out of the way you guys took back off again so. <laughs> <That does not> <laughs> when you say hey, when, here's the thing when you say take back off yeah you yes, went from i passed a rig doing probably 45 miles an hour through a corner okay. versus a lamborghini that's going to speed back up to the speed limit okay we can argue, I mean, I, this is an argument. No, we can I discuss understand. this. I'll, I'll, di dis I'll dispute it. And that's, and totally, I'll, and that's totally fine. And I'll like, go through all this same stuff. Not a problem. Like I said, I'm we can sit here and just, I totally understand, all right? And it, it, honestly, I mean, I bet you, I honestly, I'm sure you can sit right here and tell me I've been completely special, uh, professional with you. You have. All right, there's no reason not to be, all right? I, I'm not one of those officers that gets pissed off because you question something. You know, that's not me. I appreciate it. All right? That. Yeah. So no, I'm just out here doing my job, and I think you appreciate that no matter how you you look at it mm -hmm. you're you're disagreeing with what i wrote you today and that's totally understandable all right i'm that's fine all right i'm i'll sit here and talk to you all night long i just think we're not going to end up getting anywhere all right so and well, i think already, you want to get going you, i do you've just you've already wrote the ticket yeah i think the thing i'm just suggesting and I thought it was is, pretty fair too well it would be super unfair to write me a criminal ticket when there's no way you pace me four cars back going through corners okay. downhill at night and you flicked your radar on and got one car at the back okay well, I've probably been doing this as long as you've probably been driving these cars too. So, which is probably a long time, right? Yeah, long time. Yeah, 16 and a half years. But from I now. don't have to drive a car for very long to be able to read the speedo right there that tells me okay. not once was I doing 98. Okay. Any other questions that you have for me, Damon? Yes, can I get out and take a photo with your cop car and our cars? <laughs> Please. You want to get out and take a photo of my cop car with your cars? Yes. All right. I need that thumbnail. <laughs> I see the thumbnail. We gotta make YouTube videos. <laughs> Do you watch them? Huh? Have you seen us before? I've seen one or two. Hey, there we go. Whose car is this? This is mine. Okay, cool. What was your name? Trooper Matt Jenkins. You were really nice. No reason not to be, right, Damon? I agree. <laughs> be safe. You too, sir. Have a good night. It's nice meeting you. Oh, hey, you wanna bring your license next time? Me? Yeah. I got a passport. That's good enough. <laughs> Dave's like. 
Well, I Garrett, he's like, why is it taking an hour? He goes, Garrett didn't bring his license. I was like, oh my God. That had nothing to do with me. Oh my, how'd you get that? He DM'd on Instagram, some fans around here filmed the whole thing on stream. Shut up. No <laughs> life. Let's get out of here. We have a freaking four hour drive. There's one to get the covers for the whole night. <laughs> okay, have a good night, guys. He was super professional. I'll give him that. But there is no way he paced me at the front of all those cars, going through all those corners and barriers and trucks that he had a clear line of sight long enough to suggest that I was doing the same speed at whoever he radared for one second, because he admitted to flicking it on and off and that's how my radar detector didn't pick it up. No. We're out. See, my radar detector works. Dude, come on. We got one. We got one. I got one. You got one? I got one. What are the convicts? Did he get one? He got one. We all got one. When I got out, I was like, hey, can I get out and take a photo of your cop car with our cars? I need a thumbnail. I make YouTube videos. He goes, I know. Yeah. And I went, I went, have you watched the channel? He goes, I've seen a few videos. Yeah. He's a huge fan. Oh, he's a huge fan. You're a huge fan. Shout out to Dre and his brother. He has a drone, so he called and said, hey, get the drone out. That's and they the brought guy? the drone out and sent all the footage. So you've already seen the footage from the drone. Thank that you for doing is, that. We appreciate that it. That is awesome. Thank that's you. That's where Thank the old you. DD fam sticks together. At the end of the day, that's a bull. Get like, Listen, so here, I go, I have a radar detector. It never went off. He goes, I flicked it on and off real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Have you saying that? That's what he said. Dude, Here. wild. He can sit in it. Dude. Get in there. Get in there. You'll fit. Sit in it? Get in. Dude. I've had a ton of cops in there. Okay. Duty belt and everything. Ugh. You're good. I'm gonna try not to rip your seat right No, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Woo! You got your driver's license on you? How do you like that? Yeah. You got anything to drink tonight? <laughs> no, nothing, just some water, boys. Give you a breath, <laughs> give you a breath license, you good? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's low. This is what I love about road trips. Late night, meeting cool people, meeting other cool people. It's just been so much fun. So we need a picture with you with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, he's got the shoveling pose. Hands down, one of the coolest cops. Can you turn the lights on? Yeah! Let's hit the road. Smash the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. And then you'll see Stradman in the next one. Peace. What was that? <laughs> Look at this. Look, look at this. Unbelievable. I want a Bugatti now. I'll sell it to you. There we go. Let's make a deal. You drive this, you drive this to Colorado tomorrow, right? <laughs>